Hello and welcome to video number five in Embolden's video tutorial project. In this video, we're going to be talking about password management and account management. This, as I'm sure you recognize, is our login screen, which we went over in video two. As you probably remember, there is a forgot username and forgot password function right on the login screen. So should you ever forget your username and password, uh, you can come here, click forgot username, put in your email address, the system will send you your username, put in your password, I mean, click forgot password, put in your username, and the system will send you your password. To log in, as we went over before, you just log in here, and voila, I am logged in. Now, when your username is first created, when your account is first created, you will usually have a randomly generated password sent to you that's just, it's a random bunch of characters selected by DNN, it's not a word, it doesn't mean anything. And it's generally almost impossible for you to remember. So the first thing you'd want to do the very first time you log in is update your password and change it to something that is unique to you, that is not shared with all of your colleagues, um, and is something that you can actually remember. And the way you update anything in your account, whether it's your username, your password, or any of the other information, is to come down to the very bottom of the screen where you would normally go to log out, um, and you want to click your name over here, your display name. And this will get you into the account management screen. So I'm in the account management screen. I can update all of my account information except my username. Once a username has been created, it cannot be updated. Um, but if I wanted to update my name, if I wanted to update my email address, anything like that, I would update it in here and remember to click update when I am done. If I want to update my password, I go up here to manage password. So I'm in my account management screen. I click manage password and I put in my current password and I come up with something simpler and easier to remember, type it in, and type it in a second time to confirm. Generally, there is a minimum number of characters that you must have for a password. It's usually between five or seven characters, depending on how your particular website is set up. Um, so if you get an error message when you try to put in your password, it may be that your password simply is not long enough. Um, so once I've selected my new password, put it in and confirmed it, I click change password over here. It's now been updated. I can even see up here I have this confirmation message, the password has been reset. And that's really all you need to know about your username, your password, and your basic account information. 